Hello everyone, Solomon here. It's February 5th, Medical Monday, 10.30. I'm at work here, I got a few minutes. I just went to the library and they have Movie Mondays and I watched my big fat Greek wedding part one. There's one, two, and three. And uh, it's exactly what you think it is. It's about this fat girl getting married who's Greek. And uh, they came out with this movie in 2003. So by the time I was graduating high school, this was coming out. And the girl I liked at that time was actually Greek. And I always wanted to see the movie. And... You know, I was in Chad at the time, so, you know, more likely than not, I wasn't going to be going to be seeing this girl watching this big fat Greek wedding movie, nor anything to have to do with her because I myself am not Greek or Greek looking, although I don't know if they take kindly to anyone outside of the race judging by the movie that the dad only wanted other Greek men in his daughter's life just everyone has to be ethnocentric you know everyone's just so racist they are um that's not going to change you know same thing as with the Chinese uh they're very racist Oh, uh, everyone's racist, okay? And then everyone's parents, you know, especially the woman is super, you know, clicky and, you know, she said this, she said that, she has to look this way, she has to be this thing, that she has to be that thing. Blah, 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 blah. And like in the movie, one of the guys the brothers is like she if she's nagging not doesn't nag at someone she's dead so that's the typical female thing to do just nag everyone to death about their shortcomings you know and that's what they do you know and it's very toxic condescending you know if you're here, if you're human, it's more than likely you're not perfect. You're this way or the other. And, you know, you always have someone who doesn't understand that. Who just is from another planet. And, you know, they, they, they want to play dictator. Everyone thinks they're like this own, their own little Hitler, you know, with commanding what you know race everyone has to look like what hair color what eye color it's just like it's it's all you know it's a very f feminine female mindset you know there's a, some kind of like superior race you know that matches that of your own and that is your superior ethnocentricity ethnocentricity everyone just thinks they're superior to everyone else this is it's kind of disgusting even when they're not, you know, when the migrants from Mexico and South America came here and the hotels were giving them, you know, free food with taxpayer money, a lot of the immigrants threw them out because it, it, it wasn't, you know, their style of cooking. And they did this in Long Island, in New York, because, um, uh, we have people working here who's been sharing stories how they how they've been throwing out the food because it's you know the ethnocentricity part. It's not their culture to be eating American hot dogs and hamburgers and pizza and stuff like that and lobster. They just throw it out. It's not rice and beans. They're not tacos. They're not you you know Chipotle. So what did I learn from this? Um, 
mean girls. Women are mean, you know? Women are very fucking mean. They're like their little, little own little Hitlers. And, you know, they're, they're dictating... They're, they're the gatekeepers. This girl, that girl, you're the guy. You are supposed to be this bloodline, that bloodline. You know, you're supposed to be this religion. You, you know, it's just like, what the fuck? And you're the guy. You're just horny. You just want to have sex. You're either hungry or horny or you don't care. And the girls, they're playing baby, like little Hitler. You know, I want my grandchild, I want my son, I want my daughter, you know, to be this, you know, six feet t plus, blue eyes, blonde hair, it's just like, six-figure income, it's just like, what the fuck? But that's how it is, I mean, nature is savage, nature is savage, and when you're more emotional and charged, and built like that, then um, that's how it is. Nature is savage. I mean, if you look in the animal world, same thing. It's very savage. How birds raise their like children and the, the chicks and stuff. They just drop them off of cliffs and stuff, and expect them to survive. Same thing. Um, you know, except. Human beings is, has fi a financial system and everything. You know, just kick the kid out at the age of 18, and somehow they'll they'll survive. And meanwhile, you're dictating who they can marry, and you know, this person or that person, white, black, you know, Hispanic, Asian, whatever, Native American, Alaskan, you know, what, what, whatever. It's just like they're very keen in segregating. And um, classif classifying people. Um, again, everyone is racist. Just, just it's just the woman's job to be doing that. You know. I was like, man, this is just like Chinese watching the movies. This is like this is just, this is just like what Chinese people do. They just eat and reproduce, and they just want and want to make more Chinese children Greek people same thing the mom said herself she, Greek people mate with other Greeks get married and have kids and make a community of Greek people and that's what it is with any other culture I don't um you know everyone wants the blessing of the parents and whatever but then you have to go through all this Mumbo jumbo and shit, and it's just like, uh. Anyways, I, I don't. Shit, they're big, they're loud, and they. and fat, and like. I don't know. It's, it's very similar to Chinese, except. or anyone's culture. People eat. People go dancing, they listen to music at the party, you know, what, whatever, they drink. It's the same shit. It's just a different, you know, culture, vocabulary, and, and words, and symbols, and... But it's essentially the same thing. I mean, what, like, what the fuck? You know, it's, it's not like you're entirely different species, and you're on another planet, and everything's all different. Everyone is fundamentally the same. They eat... You know, they dance, they want to move around, you know, they drink, they want to forget about their troubles and their worries or whatever is going on, you know. And they go home and sleep at night, that's all. Like, what? And for me, you know, it's going to be another day of work, um... You know... I would like to think there was some kind of easier way to do things or sit it on robotic mode or, you know. But marriage sucks. Um, you know, unless you're like this really fatherly person, you know, marriage sucks. Um, 
unless you genuinely like the woman or whatever and you get along you, you know there's a lot of bitching and there's a lot of nagging and you know resources and and your kid has to go to school and stuff and you find out you can't actually take care of them and you know what do they do with their lives you know again you know school work it's all about culture Anyways, I'm robotically here again. Um, you know, a lot of times I don't want to particip participate in that shit because I know I'm gonna meet the mean girl. You know, I know I know I'm gonna meet her fat friends, and from there it's just like, oh no, not this shit again. And that's what it is. Um, you know. It's like Agent Smith. He's just tired of Morpheus. You know. He's like a, in a zoo. And, you know, the sweat and the, the B.O. It's just like, and the subway. And, you know, fuck this. You know, it's just so autistically robotic. You know, seek out new experiences. Do things differently. Change things up. Nope culture Chinese Indian Greek whatever American Native American uh, Mexican you know people just keep repeating the same patterns over and over and that's called culture because that's their comfort zone that's what they do you know and that's how they build value that's how they that's how they build value um, you know, if everything kept changing, you can't retain the same, you know, value, the same, build up your equity. So it always has to be the same structure, to have structure, the same routine, to build the same habits, and that's what it is. A lot of times this just seems very monotonous and boring to me. It's like watching reruns of Teletubbies or something. Or Barney. Sometimes they do that for patients. You know, they just put put a Barney VHS tape in and just replay it because they know the person's, you know, handicapped and, and can't do anything else, let alone, like, turn the channel. And, you know, this is torturous, you know? People need new experiences. They get bored. Um, so with that said, I'm going to pack up and go to work. Uh, this is a 13, 14, 15 minute video. I have well over 8 minutes of me spewing out whatever. My big fat Greek wedding. I don't know. Yes. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. That's been my fa big fat Greek wedding. This has been Solomon Chow. I'll see you next one. Peace out.